Oh my god. I almost just knocked it over my coffee. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I am super excited to be filming another video. Um, this was one of the requested videos that I got from you guys from my Instagram. So if you're not following me, please go follow me right now. It's Life with Michaela with two A's on the end. Um, I have some super exciting news. <laughs> I'm engaged. <laughs> um, that happened pretty quickly after I uploaded my last video. Um, so I haven't been on here to update you guys. So I'm super, super excited. Ugh. If you are recently engaged or recently got married, you understand kind of how I'm feeling and super excited, but also super overwhelmed because it's a lot of small details that you didn't even know about until you start planning a wedding. Back to this video, I'll be showing you guys a few of my 2018 favorites, as well as sharing my 2019 resolutions for this year, even though it's already like a week into the year <laughs> or like two weeks into the year, I thought I'd do it anyways. I'm gonna start out with a few makeup products that I have just really, really loved this entire last year and still using into this new year. Um, so the first two that I actually found this past year is the Wet n Wild Face Primer in Matte and then the Photo Focus Spray. These two work really great together. My primer, I use this every single day, every single morning. That's the first thing I do after like my moisturizer and my skincare. It truly, truly, keeps my foundation on. I've never used a primer like this. So this one is super lightweight, goes all over your face, and definitely keeps on my foundation. The only item that I truly see a difference between drugstore and expensive is concealer. Uh, the consistency is completely different and the coverage is completely different. So Tarte Shape Tape, this has been my absolute favorite um, concealer in my entire life. It is just an incredible consistency. It applies really smooth. It blends out perfectly. So that I will splurge on um, just because I do see a difference and it does last me a really long time. I fell in love with Cetagen's products. I literally can't tell you how much I love their um, color correcting tinted moisturizer. This stuff is truly incredible. It feels like you have nothing on your skin. Like it just feels perfectly moisturized and not heavy at all, not super thick. I can touch my face and it doesn't come off. I like, I if you know me, you know that I touch my face all the time. So if I, if it can stand me touching my face all the time, then it can definitely work for you. But if you think that I should start selling Cenogens, if you would be interested in buying it from me, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to start doing it if you guys think that it would be a good idea. My only like hesitation is that there's already so many people selling it. I feel like I would be selling it to like the same people that are already being sold to. So I don't, I don't know if it would work. So, but we'll, We'll see. And my last makeup product is the NYX Butter Glosses. So I actually recently got these for Christmas. So this hasn't been a 2018 favorite, it's just kind of a recent favorite, but I thought I'd include it anyways because I do really, really like it. So this color is in Praline. The color is really amazing. Like I really enjoy the color selection that they have, the variety, everything, it's great. <laughs> Oh, my next topic is going to be skincare. I have really become obsessed with skincare. My skin um, about halfway through 2018 started having this weird little rash on it. So I, thankfully I'm really blessed with my skin and um, it is a little oily, but I don't really struggle with having pimples or anything like that. For some reason, I don't know if I was using some sort of face wash that was like irritating it, but I would have like bumps all along this area and all along this area, but it was just bothering me that my skin was so textured. And I feel like when you want your skin to like look nice, and feel nice and all that, I think you need to stick with one brand um, to really keep that intact. So, 
heels was having a bundle set, I guess. <laughs> and I decided to purchase it because I was so excited. I love Kiehl's. I was using their toner and face wash previously, um, like a year ago, and it's like one of the best skincare companies I have used. So the first step you do is cleanse. Then the second step you do is treat. So to treat your face, you use a clearly corrective dark spot solution. That just comes like this with a little dropper inside. Again, I don't really struggle with dark spots, but I just wanted my tone of my skin to be completely even all the way across. Um, then after that, they give you a little sample of the Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum. This basically took away all the texture that I had on um, the rash itself and so on. Very amazing. Then you use the Ultra Facial Cream. Um, this is a very generous amount and will last you for a really long time. And then I have the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This stuff has the best reviews i was super excited that it came with this bundle because i have been wanting to try it for a while because i do have um dark circles in the morning so in 2018 my favorite types of clothing were definitely body suits and strapless shirts um i live in california so it's mostly hot majority of the year and it's now raining but it provides perfect lighting so it's fine. <laughs> I really enjoyed wearing them. And then also my favorite shoes ever. Thank you to my now fiance, Nico, who bought them for me. They are a little dirty, but these Adidas, they, I just wore them to Disneyland and it was raining. So that's why they're so dirty, but they're so cute. Like the cloud something, cloud foam. Anyways, they're the most comfortable shoes in the entire world. I got them from Kohl's. Best shoes for Disneyland for walking anywhere. Just super comfortable. My feet never hurt. So that is pretty great. <laughs> so my next topic will be music. But since I am filming this on my phone because I totally forgot to charge my camera, I cannot play the songs for you. But anyways, YouTube normally copyrights me anyways for playing any sort of music in my videos, which is really sad. But in this next photo, I will show you guys a list of all of the songs that I've really enjoyed listening to in 2018. Um, they were definitely included in my Spotify 2018 playlist and which is super helpful because then you can just listen to all your favorite tunes in one place. Um, this is not an ad for Spotify, but sponsor me. I love you guys. <laughs> so now starting with my resolutions for 2019. So I used a few Bible verses um, to get some adjectives that I like to use for each month. So for January, I wrote them all down on this little, well, it's not really a little piece of paper. It's kind of a big piece of paper, but it's like, wait, look at how much bigger it is in my head. <laughs> okay. So 2019 resolutions. January is positivity. So I would say that I'm a very positive person, but sometimes it is easy to be down on yourself and others. So for the month of January, I will be focusing on staying positive and um, being an encourager to those around me. February is love, <laughs> Valentine's Day. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> really focusing on loving those around me and also loving your enemies because that is what God calls us to do. And that is not something that is easy to do. And I struggle with that. Oh my gosh, right here. I struggle with that. And I'm sure you guys do too. So that's something that I'll be focusing on in February. March is joy, my middle name. Um, April is peace. May is patience. June is kindness. July is faithfulness faithfulness, faithfulness. August is be present. That's when I'll be getting married. <laughs> so obviously I'm going to be present. Um, September is selflessness. October is strength. November is priorities. And December, remember all the above. 
I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday season and happy beginning to the new year. Um, I pray that all of you guys um, achieve your goals and just learn an incredible new amount of just different things in 2019. It's never, you should never stop learning. So yes, I plan on starting to learn Spanish full time. Um, since I'm not in school now and since I'll just be working, I thought that would be a fun activity to learn for myself and for my boyfriend's family. Um, also I have, I plan on reading, um, quite a few more books. Again, now that I'm not in school, I actually have time to do some things that I really used to enjoy doing. I love you guys all and stay tuned because I have another video coming soon.